Qiang, Qi Ying, March 21, 1787, June 29, 1858. Clan name Anjuro, was a Manchu statesman during the Qing dynasty who conducted the settlement of the First Opium War with the British and other Western powers between 1843 and 1847. He was sent to negotiate once again in 1858 to settle the Arrow War, but the settlement was repudiated by the Daoguang Emperor and he was forced to commit suicide. He was well regarded in the Western world and well received in Hong Kong. Background and Early Career Being a descendant of Nurhasi's ninth son Babit I, King was a member of the Imperial House of Anjuro and belonged to the Manchu Plain Blue Banner and the Eight Banners. Kang held several prominent posts in the King government and was demoted several times because of corruption in office but managed to regain his position as a leading official in the King court. Role during the Opium Wars In 1842, the Doguang Emperor entrusted King to conclude a peace treaty with the Britain following the First Opium War, and he was chiefly responsible for negotiating and signing the Treaty of Nanking with the British on August 29, 1842. In the following years, King also concluded the Treaty of Wampoa with France, the Treaty of Wangia with the United States and the Treaty of Canton with Sweden and Norway. This was the first group of treaties known as the Unequal Treaties in China. In 1858, the Xi'an Emperor ordered King to negotiate a peace treaty with Britain and France in order to conclude the Second Opium War. During the negotiations, the British interpreters Horatio Nelson Lay and Thomas Francis Wade sought to expose King's duplicity by producing documents the British had captured in Guangzhou, in which King expressed his contempt for the British. Humiliated, King promptly left the negotiations in Tianjin for Beijing and he was later arrested for having left his post in contravention of imperial order. He was sentenced to death by the imperial clan court, but was allowed to commit suicide instead. Commemoration The Junk King, the first Chinese ship to sail to Britain and America, was named after King. King and Marine House in Hong Kong, which became part of the Hong Kong Hotel in 1866, was also named after him.